Hello and welcome. My name is GT. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can test your Shopify store um, tags, product tags for Google Merchant, Google Shopping, Facebook page, Shop, or Meta Commerce, Instagram, uh, Shopify products, and uh, any other third party social commerce platforms like Pinterest that uses um, meta tags or basically open graph or JSON early product schema. So let's quickly go ahead and check. So first I'm going to use this validate schema and then I'm going to use Google's search this snippet test tester basically and then mark uh, Facebook's meta tag, test, tag testing debugger. Okay. So three tools you need to make sure that you got everything installed. So this is a product basically on a Shopify store product. You are on a Shopify store. So that's the first test and then you want to put that in here, run it on smartphone or on desktop. Just let it go and then put it here to uh, set up the microdata to check if it is correctly set up. Okay, this works for meta commerce and face ads or meta ads as well because you would be able to auto sync your Shopify products to meta commerce and that syncs basically everywhere on almost every meta services it could, it could be instagram uh, and then facebook ads and this let lets you also choose a product to promote advertise on facebook so basically you can see this uses open graph and that's the recommended format anyway and what it does it lists all the issues that you might have so it says you're missing Google product. It also misses few other things, but it is, I'm not sure why not showing up here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to refresh it. It is missing some of the things here. So on uh, rich results, Google rich results test, you can see it has all the valid schemas except few non-critical causes okay that are not uh, very much required so it is missing a brand name that is okay missing shipping details return policy yes no shipping details has merchant return policy option Okay, that's perfectly fine. So, those are not critical errors, but it is good to have if your competitor, your competitors have no errors. Okay, so you want to fix your errors as well. I'm just running it again because it it did something that was not expected. And here you can see it is not. Okay, so this is basically a review. No, 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 not review. This validator is not able to understand. Aggregator reading is okay. Organization is okay. He is not able to understand everything that the Google test does. Okay still not able to get it it is missing the idea etc let me check if it is so it is getting it is getting smarter but let me check something show you so you might get 
missing my uh, ID, etc. etc. So these are basically things that you make sure that you already have the product. Basically, this one, this is just fine. So, this so merchant listing products, product snippet is basically for Google search, merchant listings is basically for Google shopping. Okay, review snippets is basically for product snippets basically for Google search. Now it is showing. You can see uh, this error, three errors availability. You can see. Oh, it is missing price. You can see that. All right, so you got the point. Okay, so you shouldn't have this thing missing on your product Shopify product or e-commerce product or any product that you might have if your competitors have no errors you definitely don't want to have any error if leave it this is not recommended apart from that you can look for SEO and meta tags generator you can check it is a generator uh -oh. so you want to put that yeah you definitely want to try on different different tools so it is oh this is very generic so you're missing these three ones linkedin official diversity linkedin diversity post inspector you're missing this And this is also missing it is getting popular Twitter preview card so you don't have card anyway you don't have card oh author published it okay meta data we gathered about this page what metadata do you recommend? Okay, I will figure this out. Look at that. All right, nice. So these are required fields that you must have on your product pages. This is also very much required. Google can product category on each product page. That's it for the video. If you have any questions, just leave in the comment. Thank you.